Okay, so uh, Brian McCain, Commonwealth Basin, uh, December 4th, about 11.30 a.m. Um, so what we're doing here is a quick ECT test. Uh, we don't really have any real concerns about avalanche danger today. Uh, NWAC says it's green or yellow. So what you'll notice is we are starting to isolate our columns. So we've got uh, one shovel width on the right-hand side. It doesn't matter if it's right or left. And then, as you all remember, our ECT is 90 across. So that means we're going to start isolating the other side of our column right there. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're getting ready to isolate our column from the rest of the snowpack. So I've got my cut cord, I've got my probe in, so I can use the probe as a guide. And this is how one person would do it, is you just saw your way down the back of that column. Okay, I'm pull it out and our column is now isolated. Okay, Okay. so now we're gonna run our ECT test. We start on one side of the column. And if you might remember, it's five from the wrist, five from the elbow, five from the shoulder. Everybody's wrist is gonna, you're gonna tap at a different pressure so just make sure that you try to do it consistently every time you go out five six seven nine ten you want to be watching the face of your extended column for a failure one two three there it is right there so that was at a ect 13 and uh it failed right down here about 40 centimeters above the ground on a melt freeze crust that we identified in the sidewall when we uh, uh, were doing our pit analysis. So it failed right down here and we're just going to pull that off. Oh, pretty catastrophic failure. That's good. So you can see that our column, our extended column test, failed on a melt freeze crust that we had earlier identified down here about 40 centimeters above the ground. Uh, this would be a sudden planar collapse and as you can see, you know, reasonably catastrophic. Not too much of a concern today. We're in the trees, but this might be something that we'd be concerned about if we were out on a big open slope. Uh, although uh, we've got, a, as you can see, a lot of foliage down here that's still providing a fair amount of anchoring. That's good. Okay, so we dug a full depth pit today. Total height of snow or HS was about 115 centimeters. Uh, we identified a few different layers uh, uh, down through a majority of the snowpack, but mostly it was just dense, like slight warming um, events likely, slightly more dense snow. Mostly it's preset particles, new preset particles on top. Uh, and then we've got some decomposing rounding snow in, in this area. Uh, and then down here where our catastrophic failure happened, this is likely from three weeks ago. We had uh, two or three days of quite warm weather. And then we had that weak layer sitting right on top of that from Stevens Pass last week that were um, uh, was recrystallized snow and then some significant surface horse. So that is likely what we're finding in here. It's pretty hollow right on top of our ice layer. Okay.